Hi everyone and welcome to this episode um, this is going to be a long series I've decided um, that I'm going to basically take up um, tattooing or at least learn it somehow so I'm going to vlog, I'm going to document everything from my steps I will practice on myself <laughs> I must be a bit crazy but uh, before I do all this I will learn properly how to do it. Uh, I've been studying some aspects. I'm not just going to jump in and start inking myself up. But of course, before you do that, you need to actually buy the machine itself. Now, I bought this, which you can't really see there, but it's uh, it's the Hawk Ink Corn Rotary Tattoo Machine Kit. It comes with the kit uh, and the machine, foot pedal, um, power, outputs uh, ink and some well you get five needles you get a uh, stencil and you get uh, a few other accessories so I'm gonna I do an unboxing this came yesterday so first we get the stencil paper which is really cool this is also included as part of the uh, package which I really like so you can actually, you know, what I've been studying is you should create a stencil first, do a design and then basically stencil it onto this stencil paper and then you can transfer it onto your skin. So that's included in the box or in the package. Uh, you get some practice skins as well. This is uh, really nice. So this is like fake skin that you can practice on and so you don't have to jump right in and start screwing up your body <laughs> you can actually practice here on this this material and it feels like skin actually so it's really nice that they include that within the packet and uh, what else do I have I have some protective tattoo film um, that you can lay down and protect yourself with so let's just open this up and see what's in there And okay, yeah, so it's film that you can lay down onto the surface area to protect your area because what I've been studying is that you have to be extremely careful um, to make sure that your surface area is like ultra clean and there's no um, particular way of germs getting in and causing infections within your skin. So this is included as well, so that's that's also very nice. I mean, for 100 euros, you're getting a lot here. Um, so you also have an adapter, so a US adapter, which is nice. Uh, power cable, get the power cable there. What's this box? Ah, this is the foot pedal that comes included. So this you can use foot pedal control for the uh, tattoo machine. So you can switch, you can cut off the uh, power with the pedal. So this is a nice feature. And there's more part of the advanced ones. You get some gloves. So very again, very hygienic. I don't want to be taking these out. I want to sterilize all this stuff before I even start using it because you don't want infections um, I also get the ink which is nice, the black ink is included I'm only going to do like black tattoos like I've got one like this one so I'm going to do something like just a line tattoo to get used to lining properly uh, I also get ah, this is uh, to put your inks in so this is including the kit as well, which is uh, also very nice. They, they really include a lot of stuff here, you know? So, what's this? Cartridges, okay. Let's open this up. So you actually get some cartridges in here.
Ah, okay, these are the needles and the so they call them cartridges. Again, I'm learning as I'm going, so actually um, I saw that you only get five, but you get ten of these, which is extremely cool. So we'll put that there. Okay, so we have the tattoo power supply included. Sorry, the tattoo machine power supply. The whore ink corn version. Just put this down there. Open it up. So this is your voltage power supply. You connect the machine up and then adjust the voltage. So this is also included in the in the kit. And here is the actual machine itself. I want to be kind of careful. I don't want to. I have to clean the machine afterwards, but we'll get it out and we'll have a look what this thing's about. So it comes. Oh, it comes in a um, kind of a protective film anyway. So it's like a pen actually, just like a pen. So I choose to go with this one because I think it's good for beginners, which is what I am. And um, yeah, they actually include a sort of grip, but I, I will uh, go over the stuff you need. It also included in this video. You do need additional stuff that's not included in this kit. And what else do we get in the box with the... Okay, so uh, another another power supply. So really for, for the money, um, you get a lot of stuff. Let me just put that back in. You get a lot of stuff for the money, actually, which is a really good deal. And I was doing a lot of um, research, and uh, this this tattoo machine, this one, which is the whole wind, um, and the soling power supply, sorry. This one got the best reviews, and people said this is the best one that you can get for the money. So, but anyway, I was talking earlier on about um, what you should get additionally. What I've got, and I'll bring up the stuff here. I brought some additional stuff because I've been doing a lot of research. So, <clears throat> I bought some like design pens so I can start sketching out my uh, tattoo ideas. I bought a hygiene spray disinfectant. Uh, to clean all the surface areas and to clean the kit, but I don't think this is I think this will only be good for the surface area So I need to buy some additional uh, disinfectant um, I bought some grip tape This will actually go around the um, the machine itself You get one of these out you, you wrap this around the handle of the machine so you can grip on better this is another additional thing you need. And uh, I bought some um, some more caps. Actually, I don't need so many caps because they actually included it in the uh, in the package itself. And uh, I got this which goes on your skin and it uh, basically helps to put the stencil on, stick it on so you can pull the stencil off and then you have your um, you have your template to do your your tattooing so this is very important I've seen people use um, like a deodorant, odorless deodorant which is okay I guess but I wanted to get something that was more kind of specific for for this purpose so transferring stencils onto your skin so I got that additionally. I got more stencil paper as well. And this is so I can get all my designs out and ready so I can start transferring them. And I bought an additional ink. So these are additional things but um, these are kind of very important. And also not including this video is a uh, protective film that uh, goes around the uh, the actual tattoo machine because you want to make sure it's all closed up and hidden from germs uh, so you have to put it in a protective film I, I will do another series and I will go through like all the steps as I'm learning 
so this this video is basically just a unboxing of the machine itself and then giving you an idea of the kind of stuff you need additionally from when you buy the machine um, but actually I was very impressed what came in the uh, in the in the actual uh, kit itself they actually include a lot of stuff in the kit so yeah this is uh, the unboxing done and this will be the first of many series in this channel on peak reviews um, again I hope you can join me in my journey to try and learn how to tattoo I will even be doing some um, some tattooing <laughs> and filming it so you guys can see and we do it step by step so again I, I really appreciate that people take time to look at my videos and if you can like leave comments as well I really like it, talking to people in the comment sections asking questions and hopefully some professionals are out there that can leave me some tips and, and, and FAQs or somewhere I can go where I can catch more knowledge about this subject again it's not something I'm going to jump in until I know what I'm doing um, I will use this practice skin that they included here first and kind of really um, practice a lot to get used to like how deep you should go, how to get the lines straight because there's three layers of your skin and you have to make sure you get in the middle layer um, to get like, um, you, otherwise you go too deep you get a blowout um, and it goes all watery or you, if you don't get in that middle layer you don't get the fine lines and if you go too above the surface area the tattoo will just eventually disappear so there is a real technique but again I will do many series and um, as I'm learning and doing I'll try and document as much as this as well so thank you very much for your time and uh, peace out